All right, welcome everyone. We have some fun for you today. We're going to be going through and uh, we'll be showing body weight exercises. Uh, however, you can absolutely add weights to some of these movements. Um, in particular, if you want to add weights, you'll want a very, very, very light set. We're talking, you know, three to five pound range. Uh, you can also add a medium set for squats. We have a one and a half uh, rep squat. And from there, if you'd like to have one single dumbbell for our wood chop in the core. In all, our work for today is 27 minutes. So nice and quick, something that we can handle, gonna be fun. But first, let's get warm. We're gonna begin with an inchworm in three, two, and one. Inchworm. She's quiet today. We'll fix that. We'll wake her up. Hopefully everybody else is just as awake as serious, if not a little bit more. <laughs> In our inchworm, walking our way down, holding for just a moment. Walking back up, five more seconds here. Three. If you two, are down on the floor, one. stay there. Kneeling up down right. We have a kneeling up down. Breaking down to the forearm point, replacing the elbows with the hands. One thing to take note of here is when I am up in my higher part of this plank, my hands aren't way out in front of me. Three. They're two, replacing right one. where the elbows were. Alternating get ups. Next up, we have an alternating get up. Same knee, same arm. Drive the opposite elbow through the floor. And we can do a half get up here. Just as we're getting warm. And again, we're supposed to be alternating. I didn't alternate, but now I will. Driving that Three, floor two, elbow one. into the floor. Kneeling up, down, left. Back to our kneeling up, down. Now, if you want to go full body here, you have that option. We're just getting warm, though. Three. Two, one, for peace. Good. Pop it in, pop it up. If it's cold where you are, or you're not quite loose yet, step these out, step them back in. Make sure you get the squat to begin and end the movement. Three. Two, one. Good, bring it up. Pumper squats. Now, we have a little pumper. Quarter range. Just getting warm. Anytime you need it. Separate it out a little bit. Take a half second Three, rest at the top. Two, Going through one. all of that one Each more time. One. Then, I think we'll be warm. In round two of the inchworm, if you'd like to add the push-up, feel free. Hands to feet, feet to hands. Ten more seconds. You got time for one more. Three, two, kneeling. One. Kneeling up, down, right. Three, Very nice. Two, Flipping it over next. One. Alternating get ups. Our alternating get ups. I'll try to alternate this time. There we go. Lead with the sternum and bring the whole body up as one lever. So it's not the head first, it's everything all rising up together. Three, two, Flip one. back over. Kneeling up, downs, left. Back to our up, downs. Final time through the warm up right here. Three, 
replacing the elbows with the hands. Three, two, one. Now pop it in. Repeat. Pop it up and back down. If you're feeling a little bit more loose, you can add the jump. You can add the push-up if you want. That's up to you. Three, two, one. Pumper squats. Last but not least, our pumper squat. After this, the fun begins. Three, two, one. Very nice. Take a little break. Light sips of water. We're getting into round one. Round one is all about the upper body. In round one, we have a staggered push-up, arm circles, we have a crab toe reach, and a bent over Y rise, raise. <laughs> Ready to get backwards through the camera. So we'll talk about some of these as we go along. Again, if you would like to weight these movements, you can, particularly the Y raise. Thumbs are gonna be up, we're gonna pinch, we're gonna be out, but, you don't have to, right? In the crab toe reach, be on the lookout for a bench option there. And if you really want to, you know, hate yourself, uh, you could always weight the arm circles. That's up to you. We're going to start in a staggered push-up, bringing it down in four. So staggered push-up, one arm, the elbow's going to be in. One arm, the elbow's going to be out. She will let us know halfway so that we can switch arms. Or maybe she won't. <laughs> switch arms. Three, two, one. Very nice. Rest. Only five seconds to transition. Three, Popping it up. Two, Arm circles one. are next. Arm circles. Arms are out wide. For those. Three pounds? Something like that. Woof! <laughs> well, if you want to go for it, take that option. Switching direction. Way. Now she talks. <laughs> Jeez. Shoulder through the whole range of motion. Especially as we fatigue in rounds two and three. Three. Make sure two, we're not going one, here rest. to try and muscle it up with the chest three, instead of the shoulders. Two. Flipping one. around now. Crab toe reach. We have a crab toe reach. Option one is going to be pop the chest out, proud chest, bend the elbow, and hold this position. Level two, you can add a tap to the knee, add a tap to the shin. If you can bring the foot up, a little more impact, but. Three, two, Definitely one. a good challenge. Rest. Last but not least, we have a bent Three. over Y rise. Two. We're gonna hinge one. at the hip. Bent over Y raises. From here, I'm gonna pinch my scapulas, and with my thumbs up, and my shoulders back, that's the key, I'm gonna raise. So I pinch the middle of my back, then I come out in a Y position, without letting my shoulders go up to my ears. Pinch. Out. Three, two, one. Very yes. nice. We're back to our staggered push ups Three, now. Two, one. My recommendation staggered for round two is to do two in a row on one side. And then we switch, switch, and we're back at it. Notice we have the knee option. We have the bench option. If you want to go full body here, you can. Three, two, one, left. Good, we're into arm circles again. Three, this time we're gonna start going two, opposite one. direction. Arm circles. Now keep body movement out of it. Stay tall, 
Stay stable. Let the shoulders burn. It's okay. They're allowed to. That's halfway. Switch direction. And a lot of times with these, slower is actually harder. Three, two, one. Very nice. Rest. Next up, crab toe reach. Three, Round two of two, three. One. Crab toe reach. So again, your levels here. Take this one right here. Notice the shoulders aren't up. Shoulders are away, and my arm is bent. Triceps burn here, even if I just hold. If you add the reach, you are supporting yourself with that tricep on the other arm. Three, two, one. Very rest. nice. Three. Bent over Y two, raises. One. Bent over Y raises. Got some good control here. When we pinch with the shoulder blades, and then we bring the arms up, you're gonna feel a nice squeeze right in the middle here, coming together. It doesn't take a lot of weight. If you are using weight, three, a one pound two, dumbbell, two one, pounds, three is probably the max that I'd three, recommend. Back two, to our staggered push-ups. Staggered push-ups. Final round in our upper body circuit here. And I'm gonna go three on each side. <laughs> 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Very nice. Rest. Arm circles. Three, make them big. Two, one. Arm circle. And if you can, make them slow. Oh, they burn. That's halfway. Very nice. Switch it. Last Three, one. Two, one. Good. Rest. Crab to reach. Three, two. Now, if you need it, one. Triceps burning. Not feeling the whole crab position. You can be right here in a tricep extension. That's fine. If you wanted to do a kickback here, you could. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Excellent. Rest. Bent over Y Three, raise. Two, one. Bent over Y raise it. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Let the squeeze be in the middle of the back. Seven more seconds here. Three, two, one. Wonderful, wonderful. Round two. I know Siri's gonna say this one funny. We have a one and a half rep squat, this section right here. After that, we have mountain climber. We have lunge to a sumo squat to a lunge, and we have donkey kicks. Plenty of options in that one. So grab a light sip of water. The fun is coming. The boom. Starting in that one and a half rep squat. Weighted, unweighted, you pick. I'm down, I control the up all the way down and I bring it to the top. So I hit my depth, I come up halfway, down and back up. I want you to think of control here. That's the key word. If you're down, bounce and go. That's not it. In that squeeze at the bottom, 
Engage the Three, hamstrings. Two, Engage the glutes. One, rest. When you hit your depth, that's where they really Three, come in. Now two, we go into our mountain one. climber. Mountain climber slow. Starting quick. slow. Power knee. Coming into the elbow. Straight body. Feet are flexed. That's halfway. That's halfway. We pick it up now. Adding a little bit of speed. Wrist, elbow, shoulder, all in line. Not way ahead of me, under me. Three, two, one. Good. Right, next up, lunge, sumo, lunge. Three, two. So I'm going to start. One. Lunge, sumo, I'm back. lunge combo. I'm middle, and I step back. A nice option here is behind, where we stay in the sumo, and we bring the knee down. Then we have our squat, and we're out. Check that behind. Otherwise, continue on with your option. Three, two, one. Wonderful. Rest. Next up, we have donkey kicks. We are down Three, on the ground. Two, one. Level donkey one. Kicks. I want you to kick your butt. Level two, you're going to do the same thing with a little skip. If you got more than that, I want you to bring it because you can really extend this out. Three. If you almost two, fall over, that's one, okay. Rest. Just don't hit anything Three, or kick anything down. Two, one. Back to our one and a half squat. rep squat. We've talked a little bit about back angle lately. Keep that in mind as you're working through here. Set your back angle and then don't let it move. I don't want you curling up or hovering down. Pick an angle, stick to it. Last one here. Three, two, one, rest. Good, mountain climb. Three, two, one. Mountain climber slow. Control it first. If you want to play with the direction, you can go cross body here. Just to add a different flavor. That's halfway. Now pick it up. Three, two, one. Rest. Very nice. Lunge sumo lunge. Three, two, one. Lunge sumo lunge combo. I'm wide. I'm pivoting or I'm stepping. You do not have to rush these, especially in a lunge. Seven seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. Good, donkey kicks. Three. See if we two, can get it this time. One, donkey kicks. Remember your levels. <sighs> Ten seconds. Three, Don't kick your partner. Two, one, rest. Back to the top, final round here. Three, two, one, 1. 1.5 squats. Notice that bottom part, the half, you may get all the way down to the bottom, crank up just a little bit, right? Go from 90 degrees to 135 degrees. So if I'm all the way down here, and I'm up. Well, that's half. You don't have to go one, three, all the way up here, two, all the one, way down and up. Rest. Three. Mountain climb. Two. One. Mountain climber slow. Then quick. Make use of your options. The bench, the wall, standing. These are all great options.
That's halfway. There's halfway. Pick it up. Three, two, one, rest. Good, good. Three, lunge, sumo, two, lunge. One, lunge, sumo, lunge combo. Almost through with our second series of three. 10 seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. Good, wrap it up with donkey kicks. Three, two, one, donkey kicks. If you are jumping, try to land soft, best you can. Do as I say, not as I do. Final five seconds. Three, two, one. Two series down, upper, lower. Now we're gonna split the difference in the middle. Our core, we have dead bug. We have a four shoulder tap plank with a two body saw addition. Then we have a wood chop and a rainbow plank. So, a lot of floor work here. If you want one dumbbell for your wood chopper, that's gonna be from the knee to over the shoulder, opposite sides. Notice the pivot, notice the use of the hips. Starting with a dead bug. Bring it on down. Same side is in motion. Down and down, other side. For more challenge, shoulder blades off the floor. To make it easier, keep the knees bent all the way down, or use elevation. Three, two, one, rest. Good, flipping over. Three. Two, we have four one. shoulder taps. Four shoulder tap plans. So I'm two one, two, three, and four. Breaking down, coming forward, center, forward, center. Replace one, two, three, four. One, two. That's your work. Seven more seconds here. Three. Two, one, rest. Good. If you have a dumbbell, Three, grab it. Two, we're standing. One, wood chopper. Wood chop crunch. Starting at the knee. Left. Loading that wood up to the top of the uh, pack. What do you call it? Oh, stack. <laughs> stack of wood. Yeah. Wood Three, stack. Yeah, it makes sense. Two, one. Switching sides Three, now. Two, one, wood chop crunch. Loading dock. Right. Use your hips as you come through. I reach down, I load up my hip. I use that to spring forward Three, and up. Two, one, rest. Good, rainbow plank is next. Three, on the forearms. Two, one, rainbow plank. Hips are gonna pike just a little bit and I'm gonna aim my hip towards the floor. Your hips do not have to touch the floor. Side body crunch. Side body is active Three, here. Two, one, rest. Good, we're back to the top. So Three, we flip it over. Two, dead bug. One, dead bug. Same arm, same leg. Moving in unison. Squeezing the belly. Controlled exertion. Final seven seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good, flip it over. 
Three, shoulder tap plank two, into our body one, saw. Four shoulder tap plank. Two body saw. So as a reminder, try to keep the wrist, elbow, shoulder all in line. In the body saw, we are envisioning that our body is a big saw. Rib cage comes down into my hips. I'm almost doubling over. And I'm keeping that motion all the way through. Three, two, one. Anytime you need it with those, pick one. Whether it's the Three, body saw two, or one. the shoulder tap. Wood chop crunch. And stick to it. Rock, left. Wood chopper. Using the hips, let them guide three, you. Two, one. Good, breathe three, for one second. Two, other one. side. Wood chop crunch, loading dock, right. Three, two, one, rest. Good, rainbow plank. Three, finishing up round two, two of three. One, rainbow plank. Pike just a little, side to side. Fold the side body in. Think about taking a side body punch as your hips come down. And you want to protect yourself. So you crunch everything up so that it's smaller and more compact. Three, two, one. Rest. Good, final round here. Flip it over. Three, two, one. Dead bug. Now we fight for control. You have exactly two minutes remaining in the workout. Finish big right here. Three, two, one, rest. Good, flip it over. Three, shoulder tap plank two, or body saw. One. Or both. Four shoulder tap plank. So two remember, body saw. you need it. Stick to one. That's fine. Stick to the shoulder tap. Stick to the body saw. If you're alternating between the two, find that consistent pace. You only got 10 more seconds here. Tight through the middle. Bracing. Three, two, one, rest. Pop it up. Wood chop. Three, two, one. Wood chop crunch. Loading dock. Left. Rotational force. Three, two, one. Three, Other side. Two. Here we go. One. Wood chop crunch. Loading dock. Right. Find your exhale as you exert. Three. Two. In the movement. One. Rest. Finally, rainbow plank. Three. Two. Big finish one, right here. Rainbow plank. Halfway through your last round. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. You did it. And with that, we are done for today. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy life. Enjoy the weather. We'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>